डॉक्टर प्रीति यू कैन प्रोसीड Namaste everyone a very warm welcome to our uh, today's session and the session for today is uh, the talk is titled role of panchakarm in regular ayurved practice the speaker for today is a very eminent and very senior ayurvedic practitioner from delhi she is uh, dr ritu sethi madam she is uh, md in kaichikitsa and uh, madam is having a uh, vast and uh, very deep and uh, expansive experience of over 22 years in the practice of clinical ayurved and panchakarma presently ma'am is practicing in holy family hospital as a senior ayurvedic physician there and uh, her specialization is in chronic diseases like uh, skin diseases for example psoriasis eczema acne then joint diseases neurological diseases and uh, general allergies sciatica slip disc cervical spondylitis uh, female disorders like pcod pcos dub and lifestyle diseases like diabetes and hypertension etc ma'am completed her md in kaichikitsa from uh, gujarat ayurved university jamnagar she has got a lot of publications in uh, quite a few renowned and uh, national uh, journals and newspapers and ayurveda magazines also ma'am has been a very eminent speaker and she has delivered a lot of uh, insightful presentations and uh, talks on various diseases including uh, the uh, diseases which occurred after uh, tsunami and uh, she has attended a lot of eminent workshops by ccras and uh, ministry of ayush and ma'am has been a speaker in a lot of uh, eminent sessions and other uh, media activities include uh, broadcasting a lot of ayurved awareness sessions on uh, tv channels especially on skin diseases and uh, seasonal uh, diseases on uh, eminent channels like sanskar tv so i would like to welcome ma'am with these words uh, over to you ma'am thank you so much dr preeti for inviting me for today's webinar and uh, for taking this uh, very special uh, subject which is close to my heart and uh, moreover uh, throughout uh, my all you know practicing years i have been practicing panchakarma only at holy family hospital so those experiences only i would like to share today with all of you so today's topic which i have personally chosen is role of panchakarma in ayurvedic practice so first of all i would like to start with prayers to lord dhanvantri to give us the wisdom to do justice with our patients and to do proper therapies proper treatment and to give proper relief to our patients namami dhanvantarim aadi devam sura sura irvandita pad padmam lok jara ruk bhay mrityu nashanam डेफिनेशन ऑफ हेल्थ एज डिस्क्राइब इन आयुर्वेदा समदोष समाग्निश्च सम धातु मल गृह प्रसन्नात्म इंद्रिय मन स्वस्थ इतिदीय so this two line definition which has been described in sushrut samhita around 3000 years back we all know we all ayurveda people know but non ayurveda people doesn't know this thing same definition has been described for the health in who by who also so who states 
that health is a state of physical mental social and spiritual well being so this is the definition in fact adopted from from the health definition of ayurveda so long back around 3000 years old we all ayurveda people know that definition of health was given like this only so age old ayurveda has understood the importance of health and importance of all the equilibrium of all the doshas of all the agnis the physiological system functions the dhatus the tissues the organs the malas the metabolic by products the excretory systems along with sensorial mental and spiritual well being so this was already given already stated by the ayurveda sages long long ago so to attain this health we have to follow ayurveda we have to follow routine we have to follow dinacharya we have to follow ritucharya and if we don't follow all these things and if we do any mistake in doing following all these things the health state becomes illness wellness becomes illness so when illness comes then any system of medicine enters so we promote ayurveda the safe system of medicine then we always say ayurveda is to be followed by the people who get illness from the wellness then now i will come to directly to my topic which is panchkarma so how panchkarma is important and what is the uh, base of panchkarma doing along with the you know ayurvedic medicine because we have so many thousands of herbal preparations and thousands of single herbs also to cure the patients then why panchkarma procedures so as the importance of panchkarma is described here so it is a bio purification therapy to eliminate the excessively aggravated doshas metabolic waste or toxins from the body it is used in deep rooted chronic diseases as well as seasonal abnormal imbalances of three doshas as the metabolic waste are eliminated from the body by panchkarma therapy the persons become not only healthy disease are cured effectively and also the chances of recurrence of disease is reduced so hence panchkarma treatment is important and unique speciality and is a unique speciality of ayurveda so this is how panchkarma is very very important and integral part of ayurveda medicine when we have to give any ayurveda medicine if we do some little panchkarma therapy before giving any medicine then we we clear the system we clarify the system and we purify the system and then the medicines act very fast and very actively otherwise also along with medicines we we can do panchkarma therapy in chronic diseases so there are questions in many people mind because many healthy people come to us and they ask us that we also want to do panchkarma and they ask us also then why we should do panchkarma if we are we don't have any disease we are not suffering from any problem any health problem we are completely healthy so as ayurveda says as the aim of ayurveda says swasthasya swasthya rakshanam aturasya rog prashan manam cha that means taking care of health taking care of health of any healthy people and if any disease comes then to cure the disease so the major aim the first aim and the first and foremost aim of ayurveda is to take care of health of a healthy person so 
similar way ayurveda talks about swasthya panch karma by doing panch karma we are making them more healthy more energetic and we are making their metabolism more improved so that they remain healthy we and by doing panch karma we improve their immune system as well so these are the reasons why we do panch karma in healthy people so special cleansing procedures why these cleansing procedure these are having a preventive approach for physical and emotional balance it is also advised that one should undergo seasonal bio, bio purification also there is a definite relation of seasonal variations and influences that causes arid accumulation of doshas and the resultant illness so ultimately for illness or for any disease there are panch karma therapies but for wellness also for keeping yourself healthy also there are panch karma therapies which we should follow with them we can become more healthy then what are the panch karma procedures which are described in ayurveda as we can see panch means five and karma means procedures so what are the five procedures there are five main procedures which have been described in ayurveda which is vamana that means therapeutic bio purification by vomiting for kapha dosha then virechana therapeutic bio purification by purgation for pitta dosha then anuvasan basti medicated oil based enema for controlling the excessive aggravation of vata dosha then asthapan basti decoction based enema mainly for purification of vata dosha then nasya karma nasal administration of herbal drugs oils powders etc so there are there is another panch karma which is being included by some other sages like rakta mokshan it is a blood letting therapy but i have taken here the nasya karma because i am a kai chikitsak so i will describe panch karma as per the kai chikitsa sutra so before panch karma panch karma is like major procedure major procedures like major operation so before panch karma there are certain preparatory procedures which have to be followed by the vaidyas or by the panch karma therapists so they are called purva karma so what are these purva karma or preparatory procedures so before conducting panch karma procedures few preparatory procedures are done which are called like snehana snehana means oleation therapy like external massages or steam or maybe massages with medicated oil or medicated ghee or the internal internal uh, oleation also like if you are giving a ghee medicated ghee or medicated oil uh, to the patient for drinking so there are certain procedures for that also so we have to follow before any panchakarma therapy so what kind of snehana to be given and then after that snehana swedan therapy should be done like sudation or fomentation therapy swedana is also of many many types so like uh, like nadi swedana sarvanga bashpa swedana and avagaha swedana so these kind of many types of swedanas are there so we have to decide as per the disease of the patient or as per the health condition of the patient and as per the panch karma therapy we have to given after the swedana or snehana therapy so that is been decided after the after seeing the patient's condition or seeing the patient disease so but these two snehana and swedana are the purva karmas then after the panch karma therapy finishes there are paschat karma paschat karma means post procedures post operative procedures are being done after the major operations in this panch karma in these panch karma therapies also 
paschat karma means post procedures are being done to normalize the body after this major major panch karma therapies so after performing panch karma purification therapy the food and lifestyle advocated the patients to gradually enhance their digestion because their body gets completely purified completely evacuated and for gaining the strength and enhancing the digestion paschat karma is essential for the after the panch karma therapy so this includes some sarjan karma also that gradually introducing the normal food after two or three days gradually we give normal food the patient just after the panch karma we give very light diet to the patients for getting normalized and getting their agni and digestion norm so now i will come to certain purva karmas which i will describe here what we are doing at holy family hospital so in this very slide you are seeing some medicated leaves and uh, like the tur patra are there and erand patra are there and ark leaves are there so these are the leaves fresh leaves we are using at holy family hospital panch karma department ayurveda department every day in every day practice and we are you know procuring these leaves from our own campus herbarium only and then we cut it there in our preparation room and then we uh, we make you know patrapind uh, bundles potli in our department so you can see uh, these are the uh, there are you know cutter also one therapist is cutting these leaves and one therapist is making those bundles patrapind swedan these uh, potlis for the treatment of the patients so what we add in these bundles uh, this is very important like we add fresh erand patra datur patra ark patra shigru nirgundi patra are being used with methi and soya chun mixed in narayan kshir bala or nishtadi oils as per need or requirement of the patient then you can see some pictures here doing some panch karma therapies uh, of the patients my technicians are doing my therapists are doing like you can see number one picture there is patrapind swedana is going on for one patient they are using bundles for the therapies of the patrapind they are doing patrapind swedana of the patient with medicated oils and the bundles the potli then in the second slide you can see the nadi swedana going on you can see the big you know cooker is there it is a 22 liter cooker in which the medicated steam is being generated and the therapist is giving steam to the patient after doing the abhyanga therapy and there is there are uh, two two tables you are seeing here so this is one this is a same table only this is the two pictures of same table in one direction and this is the in the other direction it is for the sarvang bashpa swed so you can see in this table there are many holes this is full of holes and there are two doors in this tables in which two big bowls are kept and gas stoves are also there in these bo big bowls we keep medica medicated uh, decoctions and we boil them and then we give i i will sh show some more pictures also in my further slides uh, in which you can see patient get these uh, sarvang bashpa swedha therapies so these kind of you know th therapies we are doing here these kind of purva karma therapies we are doing here in our holy family department panch karma uh, panch karma therapy rooms and uh, the major panch karmas also we are doing these are the few pictures of purva karmas and with these purva karmas only we get very excellent we get excellent results in like uh, in, in many diseases in just like uh, uh, patrapind swedha and nadi swedha we get very good results in uh, sandhi vata osteoarthritis arm vata rheumatoid arthritis and then uh, then lumbar spondylosis cervical spondylosis avabahuka katishula so all these diseases and uh, uh, and other some other skin diseases can be cured by this uh, sarvang bashpa swedha like psoriasis patient we do uh, first we apply the medicated oils and then we give the uh, steam with the karanj and nimb patra uh, fresh karanj and nimb patra kashayam 
so with that we get very good results in psoriasis patients and many other skin diseases and chronic uh, uh, chronic eczema allergies so we we treat many skin diseases here and we get excellent results with panchakarma sometimes patient doesn't get any relief with medicine only in in especially in skin diseases and then panchakarma therapy is required for them and for treating obesity also this sarvang bashpasveda treatment is excellent treatment so uh, so today's topic is role of uh, panchakarma in ayurveda so i am i am sharing my complete you know uh, clinical practice experience with you people today uh, to give you more you know insight about the panchakarma therapies which are being done for the patients and with which we can get very good and excellent results so these things these practical things will give you more insight of panchakarma therapies and ayurveda that how how much you know good results you can get with your patients also so these things are practically helpful for the for the vaidyas also for the patients so so these these a little few more pictures you can see here like uh, this this kati prishth basti this was the major major basti kati prishth basti which we 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 have done with one patient of uh, uh, mine so she was having a problem in her complete whole back she was having compression in her com in multiple places in her cervical spine and multiple places at her uh, dorsal spine and her lumbar spine also so we have done a big we have make a you can see we have make a very big kati prishth basti yantra it was a very big yantra for for her whole back so we are doing this kati prishth basti for her and she got very very good result with this and uh, in her pain and uh, in her compression and she was she was unable to sit for long duration she was unable to stand for long duration and she 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 was uh, she was finding difficulty in even uh, climbing stairs also so these were the problems of the patient due to her compression at multiple multiple levels and in her complete uh, you know vertebral column so this uh, uh, this kati prishth basti has given her uh, con consecutive uh, we have done this basti for 7 days for this patient and we have got excellent result with this patient so she was also amazed that you know without uh, because at multiple places uh, the the demyelination operation cannot be done you know uh, by any neurosurgeon if if you have if any patient have uh, uh, this compression or uh, bulge uh, uh, disc bulge at uh, only one or two levels then they do decompression surgery otherwise uh, otherwise when it is at multiple places then how it is possible to do to take uh, to take the complete you know vertebral column and to do surgery at multiple uh, points so it is not possible so she was very worried and afraid also that how she will you know uh, she will be able to walk and she will be able to uh, live like this for long run she will be on bed in after after few months or maybe few years so this thing we did for with her and she got excellent results with this so uh, and this is this is the, the practical thing i can show you so what what we have done with the patient and we have got excellent results so this is the shastik shali pind sweda many uh, many uh, um, uh, ms patients or uh, uh, or other degenerative uh, myelopathy patients comes to us for this shastik shali pind sweda many kids come to us so you can see this shastik shali pind sweda we we have prepared these bundles with the shastik shali after boiling the shastik shali in you know milk and we have prepared these four bundles for this patient this particular kid and we are the, the my technicians are doing this shastik shali pind sweda with the child so the these these also they also come every six months these kids also come with us, uh, to us for this shastik shali pind sweda therapy because with this uh, with this kind of therapy their degeneration becomes very very slow and uh, their quality of life becomes very better uh with the shastik shali pind sweda therapies so like this we are doing all these then then i can show you this uh, one one video of netra tarpan which we have done recently we are doing very frequently netra tarpan therapies at our 
at our holy family center i i i can i can start this video this is just a small video uh, you can see uh, my therapist is doing it दिस इज बींग डन विद त्रिफला ग्रेट एंड सी दीदा तर्पण यंत्र सीधा नेत्र तर्पण यंत्र टेक्नीशियन इज गिविंग द इंस्ट्रक्शन टू दी पेशेंट रेस्ट कीजिए दो सेकेंड के लिए फिर से खोलिए आपके लेफ्ट में जाइए so many people suffering from myopia from uh, uh, from hypermetropia or from uh, this uh, macular degeneration and even even with the uh, even with glaucoma uh, comes to right. us for uh, this netra tarpan therapy right. so this kind of netra tarpan therapy Up. course for 7 days sometimes for 5 days Up. according to severity of Up. their problem okay. we do One, and we get two, excellent three, results four, down and we give them medication also for yes, a long duration you. for maybe 5 6 months with that we Is get very very good results aapko khar ekdam se pure proper pure nikal jayegi aapki aankh jise even see patient is very cooperative khar ke dekh patient is very cooperative and she is following she is following all the instructions given by the therapist theek hai badhiya aaram se aankh kholi There is lukewarm, lukewarm trifla grip inside the nether tarpan yantra. See how they have done nicely the the boundary of this thing, so it 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 is not spilling out. It's not spilling out. Aki koliye. So this is the kshir dhara. So I have made one, you know, I have uh, I am showing one video, one small video of Shir Dara. It, though it is a, uh, it is approximately 40-50 minutes long video, but I have taken one small clip uh, clip of Shir Dara. So uh, we are we have done with one patient. So you can see here. So we are just going to. It is it is after the abhyanga, after the sarvang abhyanga of the patient. My therapist are just going to start Shir Dara with Shir and. Uh, madhyashti and uh, jata mansi kwat madhyashti with jata mansi kwat they they have they are going to start and this is one insomnia patient who has come all the way from japan to india for taking this therapy so he was suffering he this young man was suffering since long uh, from insomnia and from from stress headache and uh, we have done shidhara with this patient and he has got uh, very amazing results he stayed there for 7 days and took this shir dhara proper proper therapy for for regularly every day and uh, he got excellent results so now you can see the how they will start the therapy and uh, so try to this try to cut this they have done proper 20 minutes sarvang abhyang of the patient This is the drony on which patient is lying down comfortably, and they are doing shidhara with new form milk with jata mansi and yashti madhu kashayam. New form milk with jata mansi and yashti madhu kashayam. Prior to that, they have done sarvang abhyang and shiro abhyang with shir bala oil. Patient got very good relief with this. So they can't eat it. They don't eat it. Hmm. So this is a small clip I have shown here. So now these are the procedures. Procedures we are doing there, so like abhyanga, so it is a gentle massage therapy with medicated oils according to the constitution of the person and disease. We decide the oils for the person. 
and it gives immediate physical and mental relaxation to the person and persons having physical and mental stress tiredness dryness of skin neurological disorders insomnia etc can get benefit from this therapy so like this you know abhyanga procedure helps the patients then patrapind sweda as i have shown the picture also medicated bundle fermentation that means medicated oil massage and fermentation with bundle of herbs on the patients of osteoarthritis rheumatoid arthritis as i told you cervical spondylosis lumbar spondylosis musculoskeletal disorders gout etc it reduces pain so these days you know with pain you know i have i have got one you know very uh, good you know thing in my mind that i want to share with you that pain management is very difficult thing these days uh, with with the chronic diseases patients everyone who comes with the musculoskeletal problem or the or the any orthopedic problem like arthritis or cervical spondylosis or lumbar spondylosis pain is the major issue which which has to be which we have to deal with so because they 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 don't want to take any allopathic pain killers because they are they they have so many side effects so they they want to they want them to give complete and uh, quick relief so panchkarma i i recommend i strongly recommend is the only way out to reducing the pain and to give the to do the pain management thing panchkarma is the best thing and is the very safe thing so we should follow the panchkarma therapies as per the patient's problem uh, we should decide the oils and we should do the proper panchkarma for reducing their pain and for the pain management so stiffness and swelling of the joints so we we all all of us know that rheumatoid arthritis patient what kind of pain is there vrishchik danch vat peeda vrishchik danch vat like like scorpion sting bite like pain just like scorpion scorpion sting bite rheumatoid patients get you know this kind of pain they cry out of pain they can't sleep they can't sit they can't stand even they cannot do their own they they cannot help on their own on uh, to, to themselves only so uh, so this kind of pain management can be done with panchkarma and they get relief very very fast so this uh, so panchkarma is very important in these kind of patients and pain management can be done very very nicely with uh, without any medicines and with only ayurveda medicines pain management can be done with panchkarma procedures with all these purva karma procedures only so what are the other procedures like bashpa sweda i have shown you the table steam bath very effective uh, fermentation therapy with medicated steam for rheumatoid arthritis osteoarthritis cervical spondylosis lumbar spondylosis muscular dystrophy patients like i have shown you muscular dystrophy uh, there are uh, uh, there are uh, there are many kids you know who are coming to us contractures stiffness due to neurological disorders obesity skin diseases etc so for obesity also we use you know those uh, sarvang bashpa sweda tables and we do udvartanam to the patients uh, nicely uh, with rasnadi chunam with kotam chukadi chunam with kotam chukadi oil and we get excellent results with our with our patients so uh, uh, many many patients have taken benefit uh, in their in their fat reduction also uh, from holy family uh, ayurveda department only and skin diseases so this therapy gives instant relief from pain spasm of the muscle inflammation of the joint reduces water retention of the body also checks ongoing process of the disease so then this shirodhara pouring of medicated oils we do we do kheer uh, dhara we do uh, we do tail dhara also uh, for the for hair fall for uh, uh, for alopecia and uh, for dandruff also and for many other problems so medicated oils also milk also butter also and uh, buttermilk also uh, sorry buttermilk also so on the forehead and head of the patient suffering from insomnia headache facial paralysis uh, psychological disorders premature graying of hairs hair falling hypertension etc so these things also these things we are doing at our department then kati basti as i have shown you the big you know kati the prishth basti but we are doing kati basti we are doing kriva basti we are doing janu basti we are doing all basti to our patients so for according as per their problem a specific therapy in which warm oil is made to stay on the lumbar region for specific time about half an hour for the lumbar disc prolapse 
So this treatment is very, very effective in chronic lumbar spondylosis and sciatica patients. So this is kind of, you know, a very good pain management we are doing at uh, our department. So then shirobasti. Shirobasti, a special treatment in which medicated oil is made to stay on the head of certain head for certain time and is beneficial treatment for hair falling, premature graying of hair, facial paralysis, ENT disorders, headache, etc. Then for netra tarpan, then we do netra tarpan as I've shown the video. So it, it we, we do it for eyeball pain also, eye muscle weakness also, weak eyesight also. And as I told you, uh, macular degeneration patient also got very good results from our netra tarpan therapy. Then basti karma. So we, we are doing we are doing many basti karmas here. We are doing all the basti karmas here. So like yoga basti, matra basti, uh, kal basti, karma basti, all basti karma we are doing here for uh, even lekhan basti, what not, what not we are doing for our patients, for vata dosha patients. We all know that uh, uh, vayu dosha is the main cause of, you know, many, many diseases. So, pita pangu, kaf pangu, pangu vo mal dhatva hai, vayu na yatr niyante tatr gachanti meghvat. Means, uh, vayu, pita dosha and kaf dosha are also, you know, dependent on the vayu dosha. They, they goes wherever vayu dosha takes them in the body. So, main major cause of many, many diseases, almost all diseases is vayu dosha. So, basti karma is very important for the patients of, uh, you know, all vayu dosha diseases. So, uh, so uh, the, the, the quantum of basti, I, I proudly say the quantum of basti and the quantum of uh, uh, virechan therapy, the number of virechan, virechanas I have given in, you know, in Delhi, I don't think so. Anybody has given in the complete, you know, Northern India. So you, you can, you can see my register come, come to my department, please. <laughs> so, so Nasya Karma, then Nasya Karma is nasal medicated. This, this is our, you know, routine. Nasya Karma, we are doing for many patients for migraine, for, for chronic sinusitis, for facial parasite, for facial paralysis, trigeminal neuralgia. We did many patients of trigeminal neuralgia in our department and my many, many patients of uh, migraine. Even my, my, yeah, all of you know that uh, our Holy Family Hospital is a, uh, is a super specialty, uh, super specialty hospital. We have cardiology, we have neurology, we have gastroenterology. All these specialties are here. And many specialty, you know, all the doctors come to us. All the allopathic doctors come to us for their own problems, for, ta for taking panchkarma therapies. And we treat them and their, their uh, loved ones, their relatives also for many, many health problems. They, they also, you know, know that uh, Ayurveda department has very good panchkarma therapy facility and they take advantage of all the panchkarma therapies. So then samshodhana, what is uh, samshodhana means biopurification, what is panchkarma? It is if, if due to excessive morbidity, the doshas do not subside with the above procedures, samshodhana is to be administered by mild drugs mixed with untuax, untuax medicines. So then Mridhu Virechana can be done uh, for the patients and uh, may take medic we, we, we give medicated ghee also uh, for the Virechana therapy and uh, then Gandhar Vastyadi Tailam, Panchatik Grit Guglu and many other, many other Grit we use like Trifla Grit also, Phal Grit also in infertility patients and uh, PCOS patients we are doing Panchkarma therapies like Sarvang Bash Prasved and Virechana therapy, we get very good results in them also. And uh, then Anulomana of Vayu, as I told you, Pit Pangu, Kaf Pangu, Panguvo Maldhatva, Vayuna Yatrani and Tetra Ganjati Mekva. So Anulomana of Vayu is very, very important. So with the with the Anulomana of Vayu, uh, it can be done with can be done with Basti Chikitsa, uh, which is which is essential part, which is integral part of Ayurveda uh, Panchakarma therapies. Then basti chikisa, medicated anima, as I told you. So the patient who is debilitated and has consequences in whom virechana is contraindicated should be given karma kal or yog basti. So I have given all the karma kal and uh, yog basti to many, many patients here, as I told you. So the combination of anuvasana basti and niru basti, uh, we have, uh, you know, done with the medicated decoctions and medicated oils. And uh, then, then, uh, then we have uh, administered uh, with the Deepana and Pachan Sarjana Karma as well, uh, we have done with the patients.
so importance of now after the panchakarma therapy we we give we give very very you know most most important thing because ayurveda is not the uh, not the system of medicine or not the system of panchakarma procedures only is a holistic system uh, we have to uh, we have to take care of patients diet as well as their routine also so the importance of diet we have understood and we take utmost care to give the proper instructions of diet and following routine for the patients and following the sun cycle to the patients because without following all these you know this this uh, these words and this uh, today's life is very hectic life and and especially young generation they don't follow the routine they uh, they wake up in the uh, whole night and they sleep during the day time and they don't follow the sun cycle so this is very important to teach them about the diet or the viruddha ahar and uh, from which their disease have been originated we have to take out the cause from by taking the history of the patient and then we have to teach them about complete the history uh, uh, complete uh, about the complete diet uh, uh, and to follow the lifestyle uh, to them so in ayurveda benefits of food have been mentioned for the therapeutic purposes and also maintenance of good health the physical body is product of diet and sensory inputs so yeah jaisa an waisa man you know we all know so uh, an is you know dietary uh, uh, indications are very very important for the patients so uh, like we can see in our ayurveda it has been you know three upastamba triads of healthy life has been also you know described here in ayurveda like ahar nidra and brahmacharya so these are very very important and number one is ahar number one we can we all can see number one is ahar we know that diet is most important and integral part of healthy life so we have to follow and we have to give proper instructions we have to give proper suggestions uh, uh, to the to our patients for the diet because if they don't follow and if we don't give the instructions for the diet thing uh, for the uh, pathya and apathya they will not if they will not follow they will not get complete relief from the disease so here i have written you know few few uh, you know uh, uh, rules must be employed while taking the food as described in ayurveda you all are i think ayurveda people and you know all these things but uh, let me uh, tell you the things because some non ayurveda people are also seeing this you know thing uh, seeing my pre uh, my presentation so see that all the six tastes like madhur amla lavan katu tikta kashaya so these are six tastes that they are all you know they all tastes are present in their food and eat sweet oily food first sour and spicy in the middle and bitter and astringent at the last so the food should be warm always eat and warm and fresh the always eat accustomed food in relation to body age season dosha and disease as per as per suggested by your vaidya so half of the stomach should be filled with solid food one quarter with liquids and the other quarter should be kept vacant for the air so we use rice wheat barley tender radish grapes gram uh, green gram jaggery ghee milk honey pomegranate trifla daily and food which are uh, preserved preserved from the previous day should not be taken except curd ghee honey and buttermilk avoid curd at night avoid overeating and untimely eating anupan so anupan is means vehicle so the drink that is taken after the meals gives satisfaction aids easy digestion and provides sense of contentment is anupan so anupan is very important after taking the diet what ideally is required for the geriatric care so all these panchakarma therapies and ayurveda is highly recommended for geriatric old age group old age group people uh, because for maintaining their quality of life and uh, for 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 their healthy and and uh, good life uh, ayurveda is best and safe so uh, how it is uh, how it is important so for safe and supportive environment functional independent and individual autonomy optimal quality of life sense of well being and satisfaction comfort and dignity so these things are necessary for uh, the old age people the geriatric care for the geriatric care so we have to we have to help them uh, with the ayurveda and we have to help them with the panchakarma therapies or purva karma therapies to maintain their healthy life to maintain their you know complete body uh and their spirit and uh, spiritual life also healthy so the goal what is the goal of life the goal of life is to die young as late as possible so this was said by 
Axel Monte. So what Ayurveda, what Yajurveda, uh, sorry, what the Rig Veda says, Pashima Sharada Shatam, Jivema Sharada Shatam, Buddhema Sharada Shatam, Rohema Sharada Shatam, Pushema Sharada Shatam, Bhavema Sharada Shatam, Buryama Sharada Shatam. So we uh, this this has this is the prayer you know which have been which have been done before the God that uh, oh God we should live long we should live uh, we should live long with with our with our all the senses in place we we we, we could we could uh, uh, we could hear we could see we could uh, smell we could taste all the things and we could sleep and we could uh, walk. And we should not be dependent on anybody. We should not be dependent. This, this is the prayer. This is the prayer which have been described and which, which our sages were doing, go, uh, were, were <coughs> praying before the God. So, uh, Asil Montag has also said the same. But our our Rig Veda has said uh, in the in the previous years, and it, it has said. The for, foremost, he has uh, the uh, Rig Veda has told this thing. So now uh, I have described the Panchakarma and the Purvakarma and the Paschatakarma about the role of uh, Panchakarma in Ayurveda therapies. Uh, so any questions, if if there are uh, anybody has any questions, they can ask me. Thank you so much, ma'am, for uh, such an informative and uh, knowledgeable presentation. So I'm going through all the chat, which is uh, live on the Facebook broadcast. It is just full of compliments and thank yous for your session. And I think the audience got uh, so much into the studying mode, they didn't ask any question as such. So uh, here I would just like to say that uh, you have given such a uh, brief explanation of your vast knowledge and your experience and also the videos that you showed, they were really informative. And I really hope that whosoever will be watching the sessions later on YouTube will be uh, gaining a lot from these sessions. So thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us and uh, sharing uh, your experiences with us. Most welcome, uh, Dr. Preeti, for your uh, kind words and for your this praises. This is the very small, you know, the time was very short. There was only 35 or 40 minutes with me to describe, you know, all the uh, Panchakarma and all the role of Panchakarma. The topic was very vast, though I could, you know, I have tried my best to explain the therapies, what we are doing practically. Practical aspects. So any questions they can ask me personally also on my phone or on my WhatsApp. So I would I would be you know, very delighted to answer any question. Thank so, you. So uh, thank you so much, Dr. Preeti, for organizing this you know seminar, this webinar, and uh, I think uh, people have also uh, benefited with this with my with my little knowledge. Not little, ma'am. It's very vast. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Bhutti. Thank you so much. Thanks.